La 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 Greetings everybody from the dank basement. I am Paul Shell, better sometimes known as Uncle Squinty, and it is time for the Merry Christmas episode of Pinch with your Squinty. <laughs> And if you're Muslim, <laughs> tough shit. Uh, if you're uh, Jewish, happy Hanukkah to you. We are now, what, four days into Hanukkah? So go ahead and light your menorah and do all that stuff. Uh, to my friends who celebrate Kwanzaa, do, I don't know what you do. What do you do at Kwanzaa? What do you folks do? Do you go out and decorate a Hanukkah bush or something? Or a Kwanzaa bush? I have no idea. Uh, I know nothing about Kwanzaa. Maybe one of my viewers can educate me beyond what I might be able to find in Wikipedia. To me, it's always sounded like a latter-day sort of political move, holiday. Oh, white people have Christmas, so we're going to have Kwanzaa. Okay, okay, whatever. And if you're pagan, well, solstice is coming nine days away. So I hope you can dance deosil around the bale fire, sky clad in the snow, and have a wonderful time being pagans, because, of course, about 30, 40, 50 percent of our Christmas traditions are pagan traditions anyway. So you, you're right in there with us. This episode, I'm going to talk about Christmas songs I absolutely freaking hate. And I want you to comment below with your most hated or least favorite Christmas songs. I would love to get your input on this. Also, if you've got a favorite Christmas song, um, Please go ahead and write that below as well. I'm going to take a pinch of the Schmaltzler D, the Doppel Aroma from Perschel. To all of you who keep Christmas, Merry Christmas. And Happy Hanukkah to my Jewish friends. And to my pagan friends. All right, now let's talk about the Christmas songs I absolutely hate. Look, well, first of all, I really hate that they start playing the Christmas music like November 1st. They are so invested in that retail, 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 come on, come on, fourth quarter sales, come on, come on, that they try to ram it down our collective throat. I think it sucks. You know, I, I'm a very strong believer, yeah, you decorate the tree on Thanksgiving if you want to that weekend, but you save the Christmas music for about this time, and today is the 12th of December, 2020, Saturday, and I'm really happy that there's Christmas music playing in the house, but i got to do another pinch, because I'm getting wound up. I'm getting wound up. I'm getting all wound up because I'm going to talk about these Christmas songs that really, really piss me off. Okay, here we go. De Schmalzla. It is a favorite of Gunther and Dieter. And Helmut. All right. Freue Weihnachten. And now we must use the COVID hand sanitizer because the thumbnail touched the nozzle. <sighs> COVID has messed up Christmas. I don't know if you've known that. Although I think my brother-in-law is really happy. I got a brother-in-law. He's a retired dentist, my wife's older brother. And he and his wife live in a very nice house. It's big. And there's enough room for everybody. And so it always falls on poor Bob to uh, host Christmas, and I think this year he and his wife are breathing a collective sigh of relief. Oh, thank God, COVID, we don't have to do Christmas this year. But Christmas really kind of sucks because a lot of us are going to be alone, right? You know, we're going to be separated from family. Oh, you can't hug. Got to air hug from, you know, two meters away, six and a half feet away. Got to do that air hug thing. You know, you can't shop in your little town stores anymore because they're all closed. Oh, they'll let Target stay open. You know, they'll let the big box stores, the big restaurant chains, they can stay open all they want while the little restaurants are going, I think we're not going to have Christmas this year. And it's not a joke. There are certain people that are using the COVID crisis, I think, to radically change society and to take away a lot of our freedoms. And I'm really serious about this. It sucks. It sucks. We're being told that we can't go to church. 
It's very strongly advised. They're not actually saying you will be arrested if you set foot in the church. But in some places they are. New York, L.A., like that. So no Christmas service. The, one of the two most important feast days in Christianity. And we will not be able to attend our churches. To me, that's a direct violation of the First Amendment to the Constitution. Uh, but... Yeah, I'm no legal expert, and, you know, we do have to kill the COVID, make sure the COVID carnival will leave town, pack up its tents and go. But it's going to really change Christmas for a lot of people. But one thing it won't change, it won't change the fact that radio stations such as Love 105... Analog... You know, I pop Christmas music. We can get started there with song. No, 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 no. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start with my most hated Christmas song of all time. Dun 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 I have not merited heaven and do get committed to hell for an eternity. That will be the fucking Muzak that's playing in hell. Dun 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 dun. I guarantee it. Without knowing. Um, the other one I really hate, and that was just kind of an example. It was Phil Spector, Ronnie Spector, the Ronettes doing some made-up Christmas song. Uh, I pop stars who come up with fairly bad music in order just to have something to put out at Christmas time. And they don't do it quite so much as they used to, but there's a couple of songs from the 70s that were released by people like Elton John. Step into Christmas, step out together. We will be in love forever and ever. Hate it. Paul McCartney, simply having a wonderful Christmas time, simply having a wonderful Christmas. Oh, shut up, Sir Paul. You're rich. Just be quiet. You don't need to sell any more damned records. Now, this one's going to tick some people off because there are a lot of people who really love John Lennon, and I don't blame you. We just... Uh, marked the 40th anniversary of his assassination in front of the Dakota apartments by a fellow named Mark David Chapman, who believed that John Lennon had stolen his soul and was not really John Lennon, uh, that Mark David Chapman himself was John Lennon, and another person had taken over his personality and his soul, and so he shot John Lennon in cold blood. Um, you now, it was horrible, but come on. The very depressing, so this is Christmas, and what have you done? Another year older, over, well, however it goes, and another just begun. And then you have Yoko Ono bleeding like a wounded sheep. A very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Let's hope it's a good one. Yeah, okay. I hurt my throat trying to sing like Yoko Ono. <coughs> and it wasn't even a good Yoko Ono impression. I'm sorry. I hate that. I hate that song. Okay? The one I always make fun of is George Michael's Last Christmas. Last... Um, let me get, find the key. Me, me, me. Last Christmas, I gave you my ass. But the very next day, you went totally gay. This year, to save me from queers, I'll give it to someone special. Hate it. Now, there are good pop songs that have been released to promote the career of pop stars. All I Need for Christmas is You by uh, Mariah Carey. That's fine. That's a great song, you know. And there's a couple of good ones, too. I just heard a really dumb one called Text Me for Christmas. See, we got to jump on the whole Facebook and Twitter and emoji thing and Snapchat, mention them all in the song. If you just text me, you don't even have to spell it right. Just let me know you love me at Christmas. 
send an emoji of a smiling face. And then the guy, of course, comes in and says, you know, if you text me something naughty, I won't tell. Yeah, it's not memorable, and it's just to take advantage of a profit-making opportunity, right? It has nothing to do with Christmas. So that's just a few. Dun, 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 dun. No, no, no. If you have a least favorite or maybe even hated Christmas song or a group of them, please write them in the comments section below. Now, as I said, Christmas is going to be weird this year because of COVID-19, various lockdowns, restrictions, social distancing. I think it's really sad that people won't be able to go down to their neighborhood bar and raise a Tom and Jerry or an eggnog or a hot toddy with their neighbors on Christmas Eve. Um, that's the kind of glue that holds neighborhoods together, communities together, and it's been swept right out from under us. Uh, not being able to go to church, uh, not being able to gather with family. It's going to suck for a lot of people. And so here is my offer of a Christmas gift to you. I'm not a psychotherapist. God knows I ain't your father confessor. I ain't a preacher, but I don't judge. So if you need somebody to talk to this Christmas time, please write to me at unclesquinty at gmail.com. At the very least, we can have a nice email exchange. And if you really need to, and I've got the time, maybe we can get together for a phone call or a Skype call. Skype would be better, of course. For me, it's more anonymous. Um, do something like that or a FaceTime call if you've got an iPhone. I've got a really shitty old iPhone here, but it works. Um, but I'm making myself available to my viewers this Christmas. If you're alone and you're feeling lonely and you're feeling depressed and despondent, you need to talk to somebody. Now, if it gets real bad, there is a number that you need to know. And I'm going to look that number up so I can put it in the description. And that is the National Suicide Prevention Hotline. A lot of people are taking the final way out. I'm not going to call it the easy way out. I don't think it is easy. But they're taking the last option. And they're killing themselves over the holidays. Don't. Just don't. Don't even think about doing that. If there's anything I can do to boost your spirits, crack a joke, maybe we can do a pinch of snuff together on Skype or something, I'm here for you. And that is a sincere offer. Now, speaking of sincere offers, I'd like to thank all the people that wrote me very nice, respectful emails asking me to share my overstock aging snuff. I already said in my video I won't do that. Uh, and. Because it is Christmas time, and even though it's weird and everything else, I still have my own Christmas to deal with. So if I were to send out any of the new snuffs, and it would be a very limited number, uh, I'm not going to be sending them out till after the first of the new year. So thank you. Your requests have been registered. But for right now, I just have to say, we'll just have to wait and see. All right, that's it. Last Christmas, I gave you my butt, but the very next day, I turned totally gay. This year, to save my poor rear, I'll save it for someone special. Goodbye.